Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Capricorn for love and relationship for the month of March 2021. Capricorn, are you trying to slip away from the person that you love? I'm not sure here because it sounds like you are being careful. There is Aquarius in the relationship here that you feel like you know, that this person, like you no, know, or it could be like you no, know, someone Aquarius or an air sign, someone that with you in a relationship, in marriage, it could be in marriage. Make you feel confident about yourself. Make you like to feel really different. But in the same time I get here, there is someone else. There is someone else like, you know, they feel also the insecurity that you might really slip away. You might really like to you know, walk away from him or her. You are kind of like, you know, keeping things to yourself at this time. Not rushing into the relationship. Not committing yourself 100% yet. Look at that. That's you. You are kind of like, hmm, I'm not sure about this. See, you don't trust it. You don't trust this relationship. This, this person is really spoiling you. Wants you. But you keep, your, you keep things to yourself. You are kind of like, you no, know, backing off a little bit here. You don't know if you want to be really committed or not. You have that laugh, that smile, that happiness, that confidence, but you are not really sure. And you say to yourself, mm -mm, I'm not sure about that. Your person feel like you know, that your relationship with him or her is coming to an end. And they want to know right now, like, you know, it's kind of like they gave you time or ultimatum. Are you going to be with me in commitment? Are you accepting my commitment or not? They see that you are still in that relationship. You are happy. But there's something about you here. You're keeping your peace. You're distant a little bit. Not 100%. Not... 50%, like, you know, about, like, you know, 2 3%, you know, just, like, you know, you keep things to yourself. This person is kind of, like, fed up with their patient. He or she want to rush you. They want to know why. What's going on with you? You kind of, like, you know, liking someone else. You are being careful also not to upset this person. You still want to deal with him or her. You are a curious, uh, <coughs> excuse me, curious about the intimacy between you two also. But you are not really saying much. You feel like this person is not really giving you like you know, much of uh, intimacy or maybe it's not that satisfying also. It's not like, you know, he or she minds in a way that you feel like, you know, there is something on edge. You don't, like, you are not satisfied, you want more. And you feel like, you know, is it me? 
Maybe I'm the one who's not satisfying this person. No, it's not you. This person kind of like, you know, sometimes not really forthcoming with this. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. He or she still want this new beginning between you two. He or she is really kind of like, okay, I'm fed up with this, with my patient. I don't want to be lonely. I want to be with you. I want to be in a relationship with you. This person is committed to you as marriage. Already they want you. And you are like, I don't want to get married. Are you kidding me? I like this other person. There is another person I like, but you don't know it. <laughs> That's you, Capricorn. You are so exhausted and tired. Like, you know, you have a job that is taken a lot from you at this time. You are making the money, but at the end you find yourself like, you know, spending it all. You want a better solution. There is a security in your job, no matter what, you know. You will keep making the money, no matter what also. But it sounds here that you want something more fruitful, more money for you. Sometimes you go like, you know, a lot with your emotions because you are separated from someone that you are married to. You are not together. You are wondering about him or her, like, you know, what's going on in their life. The person in relation here, someone that you deal with, they feel like, you know, some sort of insecurity. Because they feel that you are going to let him or her go. They are not really sure what's going on there. They know that you are separating or you want to divorce the person that you are separated from in, uh, in marriage. And he or she is waiting on you. Kind of like, I want you. If you are a female, like, you know, I want you to be my wife. Male, you know, they want to marry you. They want marriage with you. There is a great connection between you and this person. He or she feel that you are their soulmate. This person let go like you know, a lot from their past also. They, they want to move forward with you. They want to move to another place with you. But they feel like you know, that there is something you are hiding or you are not really being open. You are not talking much. They want to understand your motive, what you are doing at this time. This person is really happy with you. Extremely happy. But... They like the challenge. They see sometimes maybe you are flirting with others or others are flirting with you or others have an eye on you. He or she doesn't like it. They feel like you know, there are competitions all the time. You don't pay attention like you know, to his talk or her talk. You hold back really a lot. You keep things to yourself. You keep changing your mind to hold back on this current person. To deal with another person, you want someone else, you don't know what to do. You might really have a spouse that, you know, you worry about. Maybe they are sick, they are not feeling very well. And I get here that you, want, you don't want this marriage, the past marriage, but in a way that, you know, something is drawing you to that person, maybe emotional. But the person that you are with at this time, he or she is trying harder with you. They want you to be free from your marriage. They want you to divorce because you are no longer with that person. Because he or she is afraid that you are not going to end up with him or her. You are pushing, like, you know, really this person away. Like, you know, in a way that you tell him or her, like, you know, stop being negative Stop being like you know, jealous or controlling because you feel that 
he or she might be really very controlling for you. And I get here that you are becoming stronger to face that divorce from the other person. You might really just change your direction. But sometimes you feel like this current person with you at this time is not really, they get to you in a, in a weird way that you want to change your direction and take even like you know, the spouse back, not because you want the spouse, it's just because you want to push this person away. You want to have an excuse. But it looks to me here that if you are in, in your profession, you're going to make really a lot of money. If you have a business, you will have a repeat client or business. But what's going to happen here in this relationship, current relationship, are you going to stay with that person or not? Hold on. You love this person. It's not like you don't. You have responsibility. You might disappoint this person because you love someone else. You feel like no, really that there is love with someone else you like. Someone else that you are not really with currently. And I'm not talking about the spouse. Someone else. Someone new. So it looks to me here that there are others who show interest. And you want to expand your horizon at this time. Because you feel it's not really the right timing for commitment yourself. So you are not really promising this person with a lot. It's not like you, know, you don't love this current person. You do, but it feels to you like you know, there is something not right about that person. That's why you are going to take your time. So if you are not really, if you are walking away from this one, there is a new one coming also. Dear Capricorn, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me by clicking on my website, mysticalaziza.com. My website is below this video. The link is below this video. Click on reading prices. Please read like you know, the information on my website, my business hours, the days I work. And uh, after that, purchase your minutes. And give me a call, the phone number on the website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.